Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial uh, Employee Payroll Management System This is part 18 and today we're going to learn how to update a record uh, in our database So uh, I will need, the, this is our page here, the Add Employee So I'm going to need a button here I'm just going to drop a button here like that and uh, just like that and I'm going to rename it to update and then I'm going to double click and the and we're going to say catch exception e and then we're going to say J option pane dot the show message dialog and we're gonna say null and then we're gonna say record updated and then we need to finally and we're gonna do this right and we're gonna say try and catch exception A and in here we're gonna say ah never mind so I've got an error in here ah there you go right okay so in the try here we're gonna write a string and we're gonna call it um, val equals first name uh, text box text. So basically, anything you write in the in here in the first name text box will equals to the variable that we had in our string. So basically, if I do this dot get text so basically we have a string and call it val so the val will equal to any text um, that I write here in my text field but now I need to do it for all of those so I will need 16 uh, total so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna paste it like 16 times so that's one and we have one, so that's 16. So now I'm gonna name them to value two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we have value. We're going to name it to each of those text fields that we have. So, we are going to go back here and we're going to start naming them. So, txt surname, of course, uh, txt uh, dob, that's the variable that we have, uh, txt id. txt email txt tell txt address txt department txt address 2 txt uh, apartment uh, txt say postcode txt design txt salary txt oops sorry I mean txt status txt salary and then 
txt job and finally txt uh, date of join so now we will write the SQL to update our database table um, so we're gonna say string SQL equals I'm gonna do this so we're gonna do it now we're gonna say update staff information which is our uh, database table name it's our table name staff information so we're gonna say set ID equals to to val 4 so you see val 4 is the ID so basically this ID will equals to the employee ID here so the employee ID will be here and then the ID in our database will equal to the employee ID anyways so then we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, a comma in here and then we're gonna say first name equals so what's the first name its value so we're gonna say val and then and so on so I'm gonna speed the video now and just do this for all of them So basically we finished now with this so now we're gonna write bst equals con dot and prepared uh, prepare sorry uh, statement and then you say sql and then we're gonna say and bst dot execute and then execute and then actually I'm going to copy this and paste it here and I'm going to copy it again paste it here but instead of record updated we're going to remove this and just write E here so now um, we are comfortable to update any data from our database so we're going to save that and I'm going to run the page and let's see what happens so basically I gotta check my database in here so just my database there is staff information and refresh there you go I've got three four five so I'm gonna try and change five in here so ID five sorry so ID five here and there you go so I'm gonna try and change the basic salary let's say for example to um, 25,000 let's say and if you click update we've got an error near apartment so I'm gonna check that out uh, where is the apartment in here
All right, so you're gonna go here, and you're gonna just add a comma in here, and you save that. Um, just run again. And let's say five, and let's say twenty-five thousand. Update. No such column. First name. <laughs> I've got a spelling mistake in here again. So. Uh, first name. I'm right, gonna save that. Uh, then you're gonna run. Run again. And let's change that. Update. Primary key must be unique. Sorry, got another error here. So basically, I forgot to write something here. So uh, where ID equals, uh, which is basically like that, value for. So we'll set the ID and first name, surname, blah, 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 where the ID equals. Uh, value for just the ID here. So I save that and run, and now it should run smoothly. So that's five, so 25,000. Update record the bid successfully. So let's go to our database and check. Let's refresh, and you can see here that it changed to 25. So let's say I want to change, for example, the apartment number to eight and update record updated. Okay. And then you go back in here, you see you this apartment six, and if you refresh, apartment eight. And so that's how you update uh, your database. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.